Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel WA Electronics. Today we're unboxing and reviewing the Alien Tech LT1 Digital Bridge Tweezer, a compact yet powerful testing tool that combines an LCR meter, voltage tester, signal generator, and more into one of the smallest form factors in the industry. If you're an electronics engineer, hobbyist, or repair technician, this is a gadget you'll definitely want to check out. Let's open it up and see what comes inside the box. Inside the box, we get the LT1 Digital Bridge Tweezer Unit, a pair of extra tips, a USB cable for data transfer and charging, and of course, the user manual. Right away, you can see how compact and sleek the design is. It's lightweight, has a professional finish, and the back even features a magnetic mount so you can snap it onto a cabinet or lab bench for convenience. The LT1 comes with a 1.14 inch IPS LCD display, giving you sharp and colorful readings. And thanks to the built-in orientation sensor, the screen automatically rotates whether you're holding it with your left hand or right hand. Of course, you can also lock it in the settings menu. Now let's talk about functionality. The LT1 isn't just a digital tweezer. It's a multifunctional test instrument. It supports LCR measurements with modes for resistance, capacitance, inductance, and auto detection. Auto mode is perfect when you're not sure what component you're measuring, since it automatically identifies whether it's a resistor, capacitor, or inductor. You can select test voltages of 0.1 volts, 0.3 volts, 0.6 volts, or 1.0 volts RMS and frequencies of 100 Hz, 120 Hz, 1 kHz, or 10 kHz. It measures parameters like RS, RP, CS, CP, LS, LP, D, Q, X, and Z. Basically everything you'd expect from a professional LCR meter. On top of LCR testing, the LT1 includes diode mode, for checking forward voltage and polarity. Continuity mode with a buzzer that sounds when resistance drops below 90 ohms. Voltage measurement mode, which supports negative 5 volts to positive 5 volts DC detection. So you can check both components and small circuits with the same tool. One feature that really makes the LT1 stand out is its built-in signal generator. It can output square, sine, triangle, and step waveforms. The sine wave goes up to 100 kilohertz, while the others support up to 10 kilohertz. And if you need to analyze frequency response, the LT1 also supports sweep testing at 100 Hz, 120 Hz, 1 kHz, and 10 kHz. Another pro feature is data hold and logging. Just press the middle button and the screen freezes with an H icon. At the same time, the LT1 automatically saves your measurement into a CSV file on a connected USB drive. This makes it great for traceability, quality control, or lab reports. 
And here's a neat touch. It has a built-in strong magnet on the back. That means you can attach it to any iron surface, like a lab cabinet, a metal shelf, or even the side of your workbench. A small but very practical detail. Let's put it to work. Here I'm measuring a resistor and the LT1 instantly recognizes it. Switching to a capacitor, again, instant results. With inductors, the display is equally responsive. And for diodes, you get forward voltage along with polarity indication. For buzzer, you get clear beep sound. You can measure up to 5 volts DC positive and negative. It's fast, accurate, and honestly very convenient compared to bulky benchtop meters. You can also hold screen data by pressing center button. So what do I think of the Alientech LT1 Digital Bridge Tweezers? It's an impressive little tool. Compact, feature-rich, and versatile enough to replace multiple instruments in your toolkit. Whether you're repairing electronics, working in R&D, or just a hobbyist who wants pro-grade measurements on the go, this device offers excellent value. That wraps up today's unboxing and review of the Alientech LT1. Want to try the Alientech LT1 for yourself? I've added the purchase link in the description below. Check it out! If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more reviews on test equipment and electronics gear. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.